Code of Massachusetts Regulations, also referred to as the CMR, is a compilation of the administrative law of executive branch state agencies. New filings are published every two weeks in the Massachusetts Register, and these filings make the necessary changes to regulations to keep the CMR up to date. Regulations that are promulgated, that is, formally put into effect, are different than the Massachusetts general laws. Regulations in the CMR are initiated and passed by state agencies and function as the policies and procedures that an agency enforces, whereas the general laws contain legislation that can be initiated by anyone in Massachusetts and are passed through the legislature. Why do people research regulations? Just like legislation, researchers may be interested in the history of a regulation, why it was created or repealed, why certain changes occurred, or how the text of a regulation read during a particular year. In this video, we'll go over the resources necessary to conduct regulatory research, as well as the recommended ways to approach this type of research based on the information you seek. First, let's break down a typical regulation citation. The CMR is organized numerically, first by a title number, which is assigned to every agency that promulgates regulations, then by chapter and section number. For example, let's look at 204 CMR 4.04. 204 is the title number assigned to the Alcoholic Beverages Control Commission. 4 is the regulation chapter number, which is titled Prohibition of Certain Practices. And 04 is a section number under the chapter, which is titled Exceptions. One of the easiest and quickest ways to view older versions of regulations is by visiting a library that microfilms a CMR as it appears at the end of every calendar year. The Social Law Library in Boston is one of the libraries that does this. However, if you're interested in tracing the history of a regulation, expect more work to be involved. In this case, it will be necessary to view past issues of the Massachusetts Register, the CMR's cumulative tables, and even pre-codified regulations, all of which are available through the State Library. You can begin your research by viewing the CMR's cumulative tables. These are published in every Massachusetts Register and track the changes up to the time of publication. At the State Library, we save the last cumulative table that is published every calendar year, which includes all of the changes that occurred over said year. The tables generally include CMR citations that are updated, the titles of the chapter and sections, the Massachusetts Register issue numbers that contain new filings, and the dates when these changes took effect. A collection of these year's end tables, from 1976 to current, can be found on-site or in the library's online digital repository. Working forward or backward through the tables, we recommend making a note any time your citation appears and in which register number this change was issued. If your citation does not appear during a certain year, it means there are no changes. It's important to keep in mind that the tables are only as specific as a chapter number, so we recommend that you take a look at each chapter filing to see when the changes to a section took place. Also keep in mind that the agency hierarchies can fluctuate, and the agency which promulgated the regulations you are researching may have existed under a different organization previously. This means older regulations for the agency may have been issued under a different citation. For example, the Massachusetts Turnpike Authority's promulgated regulations were previously issued under 730 CMR, but after 2009, this agency was disbanded and its duties were transferred to the Highway Division, which publishes its regulations under 700 CMR. Now that you've collected all of the register issue numbers that you'd like to view, it's time to look at the actual registers. More recent issues are currently available in our digital repository, but keep checking back as we add older issues to our online collection. Otherwise, the library has all of the registers issued in print, from issue number one to current. If the agency has been in existence prior to the CMR and the Massachusetts registers, you may want to look at pre-codified regulations, which are also available in print at the library. After tracking the changes to a regulation, you may find yourself wondering why a specific change occurred. Changes to the CMR do not happen in a vacuum, and there can be many reasons behind it. At the end of each section of the CMR, there's usually an authority reference to the Massachusetts general laws. Maybe a change happened in the state laws that needed to be reflected in the CMR. Agencies also have to respond to large-scale events or emergencies, COVID-19 being a good example, so maybe there was some type of societal catalyst. Agencies often discuss proposed regulatory changes in meetings, reports, and newsletters. The library's digital repository, which is keyword searchable, contains thousands of these types of government publications. Regulations also go through a drafting and hearing process, and while the library does not collect these types of documents, they may be accessible on the agency's website or by request. If you are interested in learning more about the regulatory process in Massachusetts, you can check out the Regulations Manual, which is published and available online courtesy of the Office of the Secretary of the Commonwealth. A link to this publication is provided in the description of this video. 
If you have any questions about this collection or any other materials here at the State Library, feel free to email us at reference.department at mass.gov or call us at 617-727-2590.